Hello Windows users, great news. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the brightness issue and how to get the sound working with the Apple displays on a Windows PC. Now this will work with everything from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Big thanks to this guy over here, Jen Holt Schumacher, for putting the software out on the internet for free. All the supported displays are listed here if you need to click them for reference to check out which model you have. Now here is the download section. Now this is the latest full version. However, I needed to get the latest beta version to work with Windows 10. So you may want to check that out when downloading. Click on download beta versions and get the latest version. Download and install it on your PC. I like to create a desktop icon and launch it up. Check it out on my desktop here. Now here's my link. Now by default, the brightness is all the way up here. You can't see me change it while I'm recording, but it's pretty much blinding. And I put it around, uh, you know, around 60 to 80 is a good range. And if we go into tools and options, we can start it up automatically with Windows, put the automatic updates on, that kind of stuff. And we can make hotkeys and profiles so we can do quick switching because we'll want it up higher when we watch a movie and down lower when we're surfing the net. So a handy little application to let you make profiles and hotkeys. So check all that out. Now, secondly, I'm going to show you how to get the sound working out of the monitor. Now, first off, you will need to have the USB cable plugged into your computer. Once you've got that done, just right click on the little sound icon on your desktop and go to playback devices. Now, if you have that USB plugged in, the speakers should show up as Apple USB audio device and click add set default. Once you get that little green check mark there, you're set as default. Now, a couple little enhancements I like to do is go to properties, enhancements, put on bass boost and loudness equalization. Now, this just helped with the quality of the sound. And I even went over to advance and switch the audio up from CD to DVD here and just click apply and OK for all of that. Please subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching, everybody.